Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichanda Jacob. In today's video, we'll try to answer this exam question on uh, circle theory. Alright, so uh, let's try to go through the question in the diagram below. A, B, D, where is A? A is over here. B, D, and G is a circle with center O. So this is very important. Let's know that uh, this is a center. O is the center. And then given that uh, angle G, where is G? G, B, D is 21 degrees. B, C, where is our B? B, C, uh, K, and uh, C, E, a tangent line. So this is a line, tangent line, and this is a tangent line. Okay, uh, to the circle RT. B and D respectively. So they say calculate angle G O D. What is angle G O D? Angle G. We use the different color. They want us to calculate this angle. So how do we calculate this angle over here? This one here. So how do we do it? Let's try to start the diagram the way it looks. Okay. We know that. Uh, this line which passes through the center and touches the, the tangent line here, right here at P, it's a radius, and this is also a radius. So we know that this is an isosceles triangle over here, where we can say this is also 21 degrees. This is 21 and this is 21 degrees. So if we want to find this angle, we'll first find this angle. After finding this angle over here, we come and use the property of the straight line where we subtract from 180, the angle which will be here. So we say 180 degrees minus 21 plus 21 degrees over here. It will be equal to 180 degrees minus 42 degrees. So when we subtract this, what are we having? We are having 180 degrees. So 138 degrees is right here, 138 degrees. So in order for us to find this other one, the one which we've been asked in the question, we need to use the property of a straight line, which says a straight line is equal to 180 degrees minus this angle here, the 138 here, 138 degrees. Our answer will be equal to 42 degrees. So this is 42 degrees. Or answer here, 42 degrees. Okay, we go to the next question. The next question, they want us to find uh, angle GFE. What is G? GFE. So if you can see nicely, we have this triangle here, which passes like this, up to F, and then comes up to D, and down here up to B. So we can use this same triangle to find it, this angle over here, which is the first task to find in the question. So, what we do is, we say this is 21 degrees, and we know that this is a radius, and it touches uh, the tangent line here. So, where the radius touches the, uh, the tangent line is 90 degrees, so that we know that this is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. So, we get this angle plus this angle, subtracting them from 180 to give us uh, this angle. So we say 180 degrees minus uh, 21 degrees plus this 21 plus uh, power is gone. Let me see if power is gone. Okay, okay, it's coming. So 21 degrees plus uh, 90 degrees, this 90 degrees. Let me just check if it's clear because power power is dimming. Okay, it's it's clear. All right, so so say twenty one degrees plus ninety degrees plus this twenty one degrees. So when we work out here, it will give us the value of this angle here. Where we we'll find something like this, one thirty two degrees. When we sum up this and. Uh, when we subtract this from 180, we find that our answer is 48 degrees. So this is 48 degrees, I guess so. 
Yes, it's 48 degrees. So now we can go to the next question. The next question here it says, uh, okay, before we jump to the next question, let me just write the answer here and then we do the next question. The next question here says, to find, uh, we calculate um, G E D. Where is G? G is over here, E D. G E D. So we want this angle. So still the same, we use this triangle over here. This is the triangle we use. And before we use, we need to find this angle. What angle is this? So if you can see here, this these angles or these triangles are coming from the same segment. You see this segment here, this one and this one. So this is also 21 degrees. So we have this angle and this angle inside the triangle here. So we can find this. So we say 180 degrees minus 90 degrees plus 21 degrees. So here it will give us something like one. One, uh, yeah, 111 degrees. So when we work out here, our answer will be 69 degrees. So this is 69 degrees. So I found uh, this to be 69 degrees. We go to the next question. Okay, so the next question here, they're saying find it angle B, C, D. So we want to find this angle. So what do we do? So if you can see these, uh, these radii, this one and this one are coming from uh, or attaching this tangent line here and here. So meaning this is 90 degrees and uh, this also is 90 degrees. So if you want to find this angle and this angle, we'll say 90 degrees minus 21. This 21 will remain with it, the a value of what here of which it will give us something like 69 degrees. This is 69 degrees and this is also 69 degrees. Whereby if we want to find this angle, the angle C, we say 180 degrees minus 69 degrees plus 69 degrees. So we sum them up these two and we subtract we subtract the answer from 180 we get the answer which is supposed to be C. We have something like this here, 138 degrees. When you subtract this from this, we have uh, 42 degrees. So these are the answers. This is how you, you do the same. Thank you very much. Okay, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, request. And if you'd like to join the WhatsApp online uh, tutorials where I teach people now to answer different exam questions and also give different materials you can uh, send a message and inquire more on what on how to, to join so the message you can send it to my number which is uh, 0969175701 so this is uh, the number we use for online whatsapp tuitions thank you